Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to make one of the most epic margaritas possibly of all time. And this is going to be a burnt cane sugar margarita, basically like a caramelized cane sugar margarita and it's so good. Um, a lot of you guys have requested that I start making cocktail videos, so I am going to do a small series on them, and if you like them, then I will keep on posting. So I hope you enjoy, and let's go ahead and get started. To make this margarita, you will need fresh lime juice, some fresh squeezed orange juice, and I actually just squeezed both of these with a hand juicer. You will also need some burnt cane sugar simple syrup, which is a very important component and I'm going to show you how to make that now. And all you need to do to make this is put a saucepan on your burner and turn the heat to low. You're going to add one cup of cane sugar, I'm just using the kind from Trader Joe's. And you want to evenly coat the bottom of your pan with the sugar and then wait for it to melt. And this actually could take about 10 minutes, so just be patient and check on your sugar. Once it starts to melt, you just want to lightly move the sugar around so it doesn't burn. Basically, all you're doing right now is caramelizing the sugar. Once it's fully melted, just keep it on the heat until very small bubbles start to form. You don't want it to be rapidly boiling. And then you can turn your heat off and move it to another burner. And then you want to put on oven mitts because this is a little bit dangerous. And you're going to add one cup of purified water. And then you're just going to stir that in. And if there are any hardened pieces of sugar, you can turn your burner back on low until those melt and just keep stirring it until it becomes all liquid. It should be a really nice dark amber color. And once it's done, you can pour it into a jar of your choice and screw a lid on and store it in your refrigerator until you are ready to use it. Okay, back to our margarita. You will also need your favorite tequila. I'm using Herradura Ultra Anejo, which is a really nice, smooth Anejo tequila. And if you don't know what Anejo means, it just means that it is aged longer than a silver or reposado tequila. And for the garnish, you will also need some orange halves and some turbinado sugar and a culinary torch if you have one. I'm also choosing to use smoked sea salt on the rim of my margarita, but this is totally optional. For tools, you will need a bar tin, a measuring tool, this is just a jigger, and a glass, I'm just using a wide mouth mason jar, and some ice. First, I'm going to rim half of my glass with the smoked sea salt, and you can do this by running your glass along any citrus fruit and then running it along the salt so it sticks. Next, I'm going to measure one ounce of lime juice into my tin, one ounce of orange juice, three quarters to one ounce of my cane sugar simple syrup, and two ounces of Herradura Ultra Nejo. And then you want to put the tin to the side while you make your garnish. So I'm just taking a plate and a slice of orange and I'm just going to add a little bit of turbinado sugar on top of the orange. It's really important that you use this type of sugar so it works correctly. And now I'm just going to torch them with my culinary torch for about 10 seconds. Again, we're basically just caramelizing the sugar and look how nice that looks. You can set those to the side and you're gonna add ice to your shaker and then just give it a quick shake. And then you could just dump it right into your glass and garnish with one of your oranges. You know we had to do that on camera taste test Oh my gosh, this is so, so good. I actually made these three nights ago, and I feel like it is even better today, maybe because I had practice, but this is incredible. You can really taste that subtle, caramelized, smoky flavor in the simple syrup. You also get a really nice, oaky richness from the Anejo tequila. Plus, we have the smoky salt, and I did only do half a rim because I didn't want it to be too overwhelming, but it's really nice together, and with the fruity flavor of the orange, 
It is just like savory, sweet, so good. This is a winner. Not to mention the best garnish in the world, which is sure to impress all of your friends. I just ate the orange rind as well because that is how delicious this garnish is. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I hope you are able to try it out for yourselves. This is seriously now in the runnings for like my top favorite margarita. So delicious. Um, if you guys try it out, let me know. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I also wanna do a series on mocktails for people who don't drink alcohol, but it's really easy to pretty much make any cocktail into a mocktail. So even though I didn't show you guys how to do that in this video, I'm going to leave a recipe below. If you would like to try the mocktail version, if you don't drink or you just don't feel like drinking that day or whatever. But either way, this is a serious win. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys liked it and I will see you very soon in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.